Hello, my name is Vladimir Schnapper. I am a product manager at Vector and responsible for the Canoe option G9039. We have done our best for Canoe 18 and have significantly extended the functionality of the G9039 option in the area of AutoSAR end-to-end protection and G9039-22. My colleague Mario Mazar will now show you the new features. AutoSAR end-to-end protection profiles 1 and 5 are now supported. When sending via the J1939 interaction layer, CRC and counter are automatically calculated and set. CRC and counter violations are detected and displayed in the trace window. Convenient error injection functions are also available. And the configuration is as simple as possible. No AutoSAR file is required. Instead, everything is configured in the DVC database. The J1939-22 standard was first published by SAE in March 2021 and updated shortly thereafter in September 2022. The most important change is the assignment of the first byte of the parameter group FDTPDT. It has been swapped and now starts with session number and is followed by DT format indicator. This change causes first generation controllers to be incompatible with second generation controllers at least if you try to send more than one FDTP to the same receiver. Version 18 supports the current edition. This works both when sending from the J1939 interaction layer and when analyzing in the trace window. When two generations of controllers meet on the bus, collisions are detected and clearly displayed. Of course, the new J1939 database is also included. It includes new parameter groups, SPNs and manufacturer IDs. It reflects the latest J1939 digital annex published in February 2024. That's it. Thank you very much, Mario. If you have any questions, have a look at our online help or contact our support. We will be happy to help you. Have fun working with Canoe G9039. See you soon.